you want to use Tiling Window Manager on Arch Linux. Well, let's learn how to install i3. Hello, I'm Guy and this is Guy Robot. My Tiling Window Manager of choice after some playing around is i3. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be releasing a few videos about it. I finally made the switch to Tiling Window Manager and I couldn't be happier. I got my laptop out Christmas and my niece asked me whether I was some kind of hacker. Now that was high praise from an 11 year old. In this first part, we're actually going to just cover installing i3 on Arch. You can install it yourself or you can install the group package. We're gonna do that. First up, open up a terminal and run pacman dash capital S i3. You'll be given your first choice. Do you want to install i3-wm or i3-gaps? Now the main difference here is that i3-gaps allows you to add some minor spacing around your windows. This may or may not be important to you, but it doesn't hurt to use it. So I'm gonna recommend that you select i3-gaps and then continue with the Pac-Man install. Next, you need to edit your xnitrc file. So let's go to our home directory and then run nano-w.xnitrc. All you need to do is add a line at the bottom that just says exec i3. Job done. I've not used i3 with GDM or a graphical login tool, so I'd recommend disabling it if you've got one now as it cannot play well with it. For example, if you enabled GDM before, you could run systemctl disable GDM and then systemctl stop GDM. Close down X completely, or feel free to reboot. Log in via the terminal and then run start X. Your i3 session should now launch and you can feel free to start configuring your system. If you have no idea what you're doing now, then try pressing the Windows key and enter, or Alt and enter, depending on what you select when the first pop-up appears, and you'll see a terminal appear and go from there. My next video is going to include a primer on how to actually use i3, how to configure it, and then we're gonna walk through building your own configuration. But for now, that's it, job's done. I know this is just a short video, but I thought I'd keep it nice and simple as we build up more of our i3 configuration over the next couple of videos. Are you already running i3 or are you considering trying a Tiling Window Manager for the first time? And if so, what made you decide to give it a go? Let me know and leave a comment down below. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe so you can find out more about i3 over the next few videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at GuyRobotTV and I'll see you next time. Thanks.